Of all the herpes viruses, VZV is the only one that we have a vaccine for. And the chickenpox used to be a universal childhood illness with 4 million cases a year. But in 1995, the first vaccine was licensed, and now in the U.S. there are only about 35,000 cases a year. And the number of deaths, hospitalizations, congenital cases have all gone down as well. So let's talk about how the vaccine works. It's a live attenuated vaccine, and it's made from a particular live attenuated strain of VZV called the OCA strain. It's injected, and it's given starting at 12 months of age with two doses recommended. But for adults or adolescents who did not get the vaccine and don't have evidence of immunity, for catch-up vaccination recommendations and such, you can check the CDC website. It's a highly effective vaccine, about 98% effective at preventing the chicken box, and 100% effective at preventing severe disease. Since you're unlikely to get chicken pox, you're obviously also much less likely to get shingles later on. The only contraindications for getting the vaccine are pregnancy, being allergic to part of the vaccine, or being immunocompromised. Although note that HIV infection is not an absolute contraindication and depends on the person's treatment, lymphocyte count, and general condition. Complications of the vaccine include a mild rash, which occurs in about 5% a month after the vaccine is given. And that rash is caused by the attenuated VZV, which can actually be transmitted via the rash, just like real VZV is transmitted by the rash that it causes. So in that sense, the vaccine is transmissible itself. Now, what about zoster? So the stats right now are that one in three people get zoster, particularly after age 50. And these adults did not have the advantage of getting the chickenpox vaccine. But thankfully, there's a vaccine for zoster as well. It's essentially just a very big dose of the chickenpox vaccine. And the idea is it gives you a stronger immune reaction to VZV if and when it reactivates. So how well does this work? Well, it decreases the chance of zoster by about 50% and the chance of post-herpetic neuralgia by 67%. And the efficacy appears to wane over time. So who should get it? Adults over 60, whether or not they remember having had the chicken pox. And since it's basically the same as the chicken pox vaccine, it has the same contraindications. Now, interestingly, there's actually a new molecular subunit zoster vaccine that's not infectious, and that appears to be 97% effective at preventing shingles and it's currently under consideration for licensure by the FDA. Because all these vaccines are relatively new, you should check the CDC website for the latest data and recommendations. So we've talked about vaccines that elicit antibody responses to VZV, but you should know that we also have varicella zoster immune globulin, or VZIG, and VZIG can give passive immunity to people who are at really high risk for getting VZV and VZV complications. And that includes non-immune, immunocompromised children, neonates born to mothers who have gotten chickenpox within five days of delivery, and some infants with a postnatal exposure. It can be considered for others as well, including susceptible, exposed pregnant women. But remember that since this is a passive immunization, it only gives temporary protection since the antibodies you're giving are going to wear off within weeks to months.